Edge, thanks to a thief, a burglar who broke into several homes in Clark Summit is on the loose tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot explains a neighborhood's growing fear and offers tips to keep you from becoming a target. You can see the intruder casually walks across the room, then quickly scurries away once he sees a car pulling into the driveway. This is home surveillance video on Greenwood Avenue, released by the Clark Summit Police Department. Taken Friday night, the suspect's most recent break in. On at least uh, two of the burglaries we've had, there was actually people living there, and it, but the appearance uh, maybe maybe that they weren't. Clark Summit Police Chief Christopher John says the crook has also broken into homes on Highland Avenue, Electric Street, and as far as West Grove Street in the last three months. Chief Yarn says that all of the burglaries have happened in generally the same neighborhood, two out of the six right here on Greenwood Avenue. It's a little unnerving. Scott Welsh lives right next door to the home on Greenwood Avenue that was broken into just a couple of months ago. And that's been vacant for. The entire time I've had this house, which is about a dozen years. The chief says the suspect targets homes that appear to be vacant. Little did the culprit know the homeowner actually lives right next door. Here's a closer look at the suspect now. Chief Yarn says the burglar has been wearing gloves, so they have not been able to identify him, but believe he lives in the neighborhood and travels on foot. Police tell us the best thing people can do is make it clear your home is occupied, which is good advice for all homeowners. I lock my doors and windows, and, uh, and as I said, I have that pit bull here, and she's here all the time. Just turning different lights on and off, leaving a light on in the living room or the kitchen overnight and next night turning a different light on and but turning that one off. Rachel tells us that to date Chief Yarns claims the thief has only managed to take things of little value like costume jewelry.